Hello everyone, we are moving on to Inventory Teal Edition. So I have separated my blues into teal and then just your more traditional blue. So I'm gonna start with blue. Um, some of these were kind of iffy, so I hope they all do fit neatly into this category, but we shall see. So the first one I have is Vinta Carnival. I know it has a longer name as well, um, but I'm not sure what that is. And I have had this inked up once. It did um, perform very well and I enjoyed it in the pen. It was a tiny bit light for my liking at that point. Um, so I did not keep it inked for a very long time, but um, I do remember enjoying the color a lot. And that is, yeah, that's a super pretty color. I'm going to have to try it in some different pens to see where it works best. I'm going to zoom you in a little bit. So teal is not a color that I usually gravitate towards, similar to blue. It is, besides gray and black, my least favorite color family to ink up. I definitely love teal a lot more than I love just like your standard blue. Um, and I am starting to enjoy it more and more, so I'm excited to get more teals. I definitely do lean toward the darker teals than the more, or maybe the more green tone teals than the blue tone teals. I'm not sure. I don't know. We're still figuring it out. <laughs> but this is Diamine Oudinil. But yeah, I am starting to enjoy them more. So um, I definitely want to start inking them up more and with them. What color do you just not enjoy in terms of fountain pen inks? It's always so interesting. I know like the majority of people really love blues and so it's always funny for me to hear like how people love and hate different things. <laughs> I don't know why I don't like blue. Like I like it in real life and other things, but I don't know. This is a very pretty one. It reminds me of like Caribbean kind of vibes. Definitely more blue than green, but still pretty. Next one is Emerald of Shavor. This is a gorgeous ink, but it's a little, uh, it's a little too bright for me. I don't know. Like I want to use it. I want to use it and love it. And it has gorgeous shimmer and gorgeous sheen. But every time I ink it up, I'm like, I don't know, maybe I've just not used it in the right pens. It just, something about it, I'm just like, no, I don't want to write with this. But it truly is such a beautiful color, so I can't tell you why. I don't make the rules here. Yeah, I think it's like this really bright, like, blue base that just kind of doesn't do it for me. I don't, I just don't like it. I don't know why. <laughs> Who hurt me? Like, what kind of trauma have I been through to cause this? So this is J. Carbon. See, now, if it wrote like this and was darker and didn't have all this lighter blue, I think I would love it. But the pens that I've tried it in, it doesn't write like that. So 
we're gonna have to figure it out because I now have two samples of this and <laughs> I really want to love it. I combined it with something and I can't remember what. I don't have it inked up anymore. But that was cool too because it, it does really have a beautiful shimmer and sheen to it. Next is Birmingham Pen Company Eroded Bronze. And this was from a pen friend, the same one who sent me um, Ina Ho. That was so sweet of her. She sent me um, that one and then a few Birmingham inks. And I sent her some Birmingham inks back as well as some other. So trading inks is so much fun. This is my first time trading inks with someone and I just, it's like, it's like buying new inks, but without having to buy them, it's like such a happy day to get them in the mail. I love that. This is a very pretty color. I have not had a chance to ink it up yet, but. I've seen other people have this inked and it does look very beautiful in a pen from what I've seen. I like that like muted kind of blue color. Just two more. So we have Roar and Klingner Verdigris. I love this ink. I had this inked up for quite a while. I forget what pen it was in now. Um, but this is a gorgeous dark blue ink and I love it for its darkness. So I probably should have included this just with the regular blues because now it's not looking as teal as I thought it was, but maybe it will dry down more teal. I'm not sure why I put this here. Yeah, I'm not sure why I thought this was teal. And lastly, we have Ferris Wheel Press Cloak and Forest. This is another borderline one. Um, I do think, I don't know, I think it is teal, but hard to tell. And it is a gorgeous shimmer ink from Ferris Wheel Press. I'm trying to think. I think this is the only shimmer ink I've ever tried from them. And it is really, really wonderful. It is a great performing ink. It is super wet. I have it in my Twisby uh, Diamond 580 in a medium nib. And it's super, super wet. The shimmer performs well it doesn't like clog the pen um it just it's so lovely it's a, such a beautiful ink I'm really really enjoying it I probably see the same thing in every video it's so lovely I'm really enjoying it <laughs> This goes down a lot darker and then dries to a much more muted kind of shade. So yeah, you could see it definitely is teal. More teal than that one for sure. 
but let's wait for these to dry and I will be ready. So here we are with these all dried. I definitely can say this and this should probably have just gone in with the regular blues, but <laughs> I didn't know. So my apologies, these are, those are not really teal. Um, so starting with Vinta Carnival, really pretty. Um, it even looks like there's a tiny bit of shimmer in there, but that could have been cross-contamination because I don't remember there being shimmer in there. But really pretty shading in that swatch. And then this is just like a really nice muted teal color. I enjoy that a lot. I definitely do want to try that now in some other pens to see if I can get that same kind of saturation color payoff. Diamine Oud and Nil. I combined this with a yellow shimmering ink to create that light green ink in my light green ink video. Um, so this has been a useful ink to me, even though I have not had it inked up in a pen by itself. I do like the fact that it is a lighter, not as in your face kind of teal. Um, so yeah, I'm open to trying that in a pen, probably in the spring or summertime. J. Urban Emerald of Shavor, man, this ink just has a lot going for it. It has this beautiful red sheen you can see there, and you can see it in the writing sample really well. Um, and then it has this gorgeous golden shimmer, which makes it look a little bit greeny. Um, so this is definitely a mermaid ink for sure. <laughs> However, I don't know, something about this bright blue I just don't love. So I would need to find a way to get it into a pen that made it look as saturated as it looks here. Because I like the darker aspects of it, but I don't, I just don't like this bright blue color. I don't know why. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that is a stunning ink. I might want to combine it with like a deep dark purple or something like that to get those pretty effects of the ink without that bright bright blue or maybe even a darker blue I don't know we'll see um and then this Birmingham Penco eroded bronze is so pretty it's a muted light gray blue is how I would describe it with some pink shading um in a pen, I'm really thinking it's going to look like that very light gray-blue right there, which is not really my thing, but I'm open to try it. It is a nice chromo shading ink, and I do like the mutedness of that blue. Then we have Roar and Klingner Verdigree, which has a lovely red sheen in the swatch there. You can't really see it in the writing sample. Um, other than a little bit on the edge of that heart, but I don't remember ever seeing that in the writing when it was in a pen. I do remember it looking more teal when I had it inked. That's really weird, but yeah, um, it's pretty. I really love this ink. It's well behaved. It's lubricated. It's wet. I'm definitely open to inking this again. It's just a really, really nice blue. And then we have Ferris Will Press, Cloak, and Forest. And this reminds me of Emerald of Shavor's cousin because they both have this gorgeous red sheen that is also highly visible in the writing as well. And this gorgeous shimmer. Now, in Emerald of Shavor, the shimmer is gold. And in Cloak and Forest, the shimmer is, I think silver but it could be like a multicolored, like pink silver type deal i actually prefer cloak and forest to emerald of shavor just because i like this tone better um in the pen i do have it inked up right now let me grab that in the pen it does come out looking much more blue than green like you can see this teal on the edge here in the pen it's definitely more blue so let's do a little writing so inked in twisby diamond 580 white rose gold with a medium nib
and man, it just flows so nicely in this pen. So yeah, it definitely looks more navy blue in the pen than the, the teal that we see on the edge, but that teal is gorgeous. I really, really love this ink. It makes me want to try their other darker shimmer inks. Um, like I really wanna try Edward's Garden. I want to try um, Twinkling Tea Party. Yeah, there's a few that I really wanna try from them because this one is just so nice and well behaved. And you can even see in the writing sample that I just did with the pen, I don't know if you can see it through the camera, but to my eye, I can definitely see the red sheen around the edges of the letters. So really, really beautiful. And yep, that's my teals. Thank you guys for watching. What's your favorite teal ink? What's your favorite teal shimmer ink? Because I'm so into sh shimmers right now. And yeah, let me know. Talk to you later.